Alright guys, we are back in action. Um, fixed another couple of bugs actually guys, when I watched back that playback I noticed the uh, protection from evil, um, the uh, little graphic in the uh, along the uh, bottom of the screen that denotes the fact that this is an action didn't show up, it was invisible. That's been fixed. Um, the other one was uh, with the detect treasure spell, a, uh, it still wasn't referencing platinum in the, uh, in the text output when it said hey this has been placed on the dungeon. I didn't mention platinum, could have been one of the things placed, so that's been fixed. Um, never ending process, but every single time I play, it gets a little bit better, right? Most of it's small stuff that people wouldn't notice, but every once in a while there's something big. One of the biggest uh, bugs has been fixed in this version of the game. There's a skill called Violence. Uh, many years ago, I, or a long while ago, I, I changed how violence worked, made it more powerful. Then I decided it was now overpowered, so I put it back to the way it had been. But when I put it back to the way it had been, I accidentally screwed it up. Which means, if you've been using violence skill in the last few updates, violence skill didn't actually do anything. <laughs> so, that's been fixed uh, several months ago by me. Sorry about that. Alright, here we go. Let's look around. Let me move this window to a better position for me. My tiny, tiny window I'm playing in. Oh, frick. Sorry, got some pain going on here. I was excited to see this, of course, but uh, it's not going to help us, is it? There's no treasure on this map that I'm aware of. I and mean, we have we have what little treasure we're carrying. Might as well, um... That is an alligator, or crocodile. In frigid water. You don't often see arctic crocodiles, do you? Well, here's one. Actually... Let's keep an eye on it, guys. Um, is it going to freeze to death? Maybe not. I hear I hear the sound of it in the Arctic stuff, but it's not going down in health. Good. I was afraid shit that I screw that up. I'm gonna gamble until it won't let me gamble anymore because um, we're not gonna find any other treasure, so. Or until we lose it all. This is our last chance. We either lose 352 gold here, or we gain 352 gold. Good stuff. So at least we got some money from this level. Unfortunately, the only way for us to get further on is to swim. Um, we're not too bad a swimmer, as you recall. But A, there's a crocodile here. B, we're still not a perfect swimmer, so we still could drown a little bit and drift. C, that is frigid water, which means we're going to take cold damage. Now, admittedly, I think we put our cold resistance really high, didn't we? Advanced. We'll take less cold damage than we could. Still, I wish I had a means of water walking or, or something. Um, this is a sunken rune. Um, there's actually ruins of an old structure underneath the uh, water there. If we were to dive down to explore it, we'll automatically take drowning damage, equal to between 5% and 10% of our max health, with a minimum of 1 damage. But we will gain experience equal to 15% of that required to reach the next character level. We can only dive there once. Might be worthwhile for us if we can get out of this frigid water fast. Looks like there's sort of some sort of like frigid channel of water here, and then like warmer water flowing in through here. Kind of neat. Let's get out of this frigid water, fuck. We drifted back into it, guys. Oh, fuck, our boiled leather just broke, too. Let's get out of the water entirely, actually. We, we can't afford to go over there. It's just too too dangerous right now. We took a lot of damage crossing there, guys. Son of a bitch. Gold ring, that's a trinket. One square, one inventory slot trinket. Worth 320 gold. Let's do some uh, Water of Life. Let's pass a bit of time as we heal a little bit. I'm hearing something... There's like um, maybe lava here or something? I don't know. There's something, something moving around in some sort of heat source over here. Let's cast Water of Life again. And one more time. Matter of fact, I'm going to cast it again. <laughs> one more. Um, what I really... Uh, I, I, we have that one unknown potion. I'm hoping to heal ourselves a lot and then drink that potion. I'm hoping it's a mage potion. Give us back some uh, spell points. 
We almost back to full. Do it one last time, guys. Save enough that if it's a poison potion, we can cure ourselves, you know? Alright, we're back to full. Um, let's go ahead and drink that potion. Whatever it is. No, it was a restorative potion. It would have cured our diseases, but we don't have any. So all of our armor pretty much is broken, except for this cloth we've wrapped around our forearm. <laughs> let's go ahead and pick up the uh, gold ring. Well, guys, we can either go through this. 50% chance we're okay. Otherwise, we're going to take 6 to 30 physical damage. But there's something. We can see there's smoke here. And we can hear... I can't tell if that's lava or fire, actually. Um, I think it's fire. And we can see the fact that the smoke is lit up by a light source. So there's some sort of fire burning over there, too. I'm fearful to cross through here and just find it's, like, deadly. We could go try and get that ruin. Now that we have some more health. Got 438 experience for that. If we meet one of these um, monsters, we can do unpredictable outcome, and maybe it'll teleport us out of here. Matter of fact, it might teleport them out of here, and if they teleport to dry land, they'll just instantly die. We won't get the um, experience for killing them, but they will instantly die. Any water-based monster. Let's try and swim for a minute. Maybe we can get to healthier territory. There's a cowl. In general, not great. It's an improvised helmet. Would give us eight defense. I don't want to drop anything for it, though, and 8 defense is not going to make a huge difference right now, so... Fuck, that's a fire elemental. That's where all this fire is coming from, at least some of it. Might be another one over here, actually. Um, so you can see the stats right there. 50% physical resistance, 26% magic resistance, 100% fire resistance or heat resistance. Has a 1 in 7 chance of laying flame each turn. This 4 to 14 heat damage when it hits us, so it could set us on fire. It can't enter water or ice. There is a raft there. Let's try and get to that raft. Fuck you, fire elemental. Let's swim to the raft. And let's go here and dive. It's not going to come back here, probably. Yeah, go ahead. We're badly hurt again, guys. It wasn't worth it for 38 gold. We can get healed, we'll come back into... Well, maybe we can deal with that guy right now. How close are we to leveling up? Not even close. Whoa, shit, I got out of the raft I didn't mean to. Let's go ahead and open this basket. Unknown potion. Go ahead and pull that lever. I don't know what it does, we may not be back here. Let's drop something for... Well, let's go here. Let's drop something, like the gold ring. To pick up this unknown potion, we'll chug it in the hopes it's a mage potion to get our spell points back. No, strength potion. Strength is up by 50 for 121 turns. Worthwhile switching to the chain whip while that's going on so we get the bonus strength damage if we hit in combat. Come on back here, Raft. Almost got it dead. Although it has a better chance to hit us than we do to hit it. We could cast, of course... Mage shield. Let's go ahead and do it. Now we can fight it at our leisure. It's not going to be able to hit us very easy. You know, 10% chance. Of course, the uh, raft is drifting so constantly, it's hard to stay in the square with it. <laughs> Switch back with the crossbow for a second, because it's almost dead. We're fighting the frog now. If we kill it, we get the extra 5 spell points, right? Or if we hit it, actually. My mage shield's gonna wear out. We're not even gonna finish killing this thing. Our cloth arm wrapping. We now have. We're now completely unarmored, except for our little bit of dodge skill and our lizard man scales. This thing's trying to run away from us. Almost got it. Mage shield wore off, guys. Just took too long with that, um... Oh, Jesus Christ. That is a giant spine tooth. That is a very deadly monster. We have a few options at this point, guys, because we're almost dead. We don't quite have enough faith... I was going to say a few options. We don't quite have enough faith to cast, um... Destiny, so that if we die, we'd have a 50% chance of returning to life, so I guess we're going to have to unpredictable outcome it. 
right, we teleported again. I'm gonna have to look up the unpredictable outcome to make sure. Oh shit, we are in a scary place. I'm gonna have to look it up to make sure it's working right, because we've teleported it every time we've used it. I'll check after this game. This is a Morlock. And the fact that it's not moving makes me nervous. The Morlock has a 10% chance of creating a pit trap in its square, assuming the square is unoccupied. Uh, so it may have put pit traps all the way through here. And as hurt as we are, that would not be good. The fact that it's not moving has probably got at least pit traps here and here. Like, it's probably trapped itself in a corner. Um, that is a Yeti. Does cold damage, has 50% resistance to cold. If it hits by 40 points or more, it doubles its damage. It probably will hit us by 40 or more with our complete lack of armor. Where we're at, we've seen one of those before. At least it's not cunning max. That's a weary cow. Goblinoid monster is a standard goblinoid monster about medium power. Level 17. I don't know what to do here, guys. We're really in a dangerous spot. We've only got 20 magic points. Let's go ahead and use... Can't even do Water of Life. Can't do it. Let's cast Finger Candles to get a little more vision here. Don't know what these are. Papers. We ultimately got to get there. I'm just afraid to move. Let's, uh, if we pass our turn, right, we do have... Sp oh, no, we can't. We won't spot adjacent pit traps unless we try to step on them. So let's go ahead and move. This is terrifying, guys, but we have no choice. I'm going to go south and hope it's not a pit trap. The fact that he's not coming towards me makes me think there's probably a pit trap here, or maybe even, maybe all the way through here, right? Is there anything I can do? Yes, I can use my um, deactivation skill. Deactivation, 75% chance to destroy all pit traps and booby traps within one square. Probably been disarmed. Let's do a second. Oh yeah, obviously got disarmed. He came up here. We saw him suddenly move forward. If we can somehow get 1100 experience before we take a few more points of damage, we'll be fine. Let's not go back in that room. I would love to get these things, but we have no idea where the pit traps are. Let's stay away from there. Secret door we saw. We can get spell points if we kill something here. This is all crumbling floor. If we walk across it, um, there's a chance the floor breaks and drops us down to the next level. The chance that it happening is based on how much equipment we're carrying. With the amount of inventory slots we have full, there'll be a 12% chance every time we're on one of these squares that it breaks under us. If it does, we'll fall to the next level and we'll take 6 to 18 falling damage. I'd like to avoid that if I can, which means we got to go through here. <sighs> we're in bad shape, guys. I think you know that, but it definitely makes me sad. If we can get a little bit more, just a little more faith, we can get that um, Destiny Miracle into play. Let's wait a second and see if that weary cow comes through after us. No? Let's at least see what we can see. We can smell it. It's probably going to kill us if we fight it. I was gonna lure it over here to kill it and get the uh, spell points, but that's not gonna happen. We're not gonna we're not gonna be able to fight it. I don't see that we have many choices, guys. We either run past it in the hopes we can get through here, and it'll get at least one hit on us. It'll automatically hit, right? It gets a hundred percent chance to hit us. Although with our glowing crossbow, there's a thirty-three percent chance it won't swing at us all. We'll hold it at bay with the crossbow, or we cross this, which is two consecutive twelve, three consecutive twelve percent chances. Maybe that's better. This is a risk, guys, but I can't, I can't think of anything else to do. Let's just double check. We are literally down to 12 spell points. It means we could, we could cast Descend. Could have cast Evaporation earlier to get rid of that water. That would have been smart. I don't want to Descend, though, guys, because we're just going to find ourselves in a more dangerous position down there. If we do fall through here, we're going to take, what, uh, 6 to 18? That's going to average to, I don't know, 11-ish? Maybe 12 ish. 12, I guess. Um, which would not be quite enough to kill us. Let's. Um, let's risk it. Could, of course, drop items. 
Alright, we got across. This is all foliage. You can't see through foliage. Um, also, it requires various strength checks. The light foliage requires a standard strength check, so we have a 90% chance to get into it. The standard foliage has a half strength check, so we have a 45% chance to enter it. Dense foliage has a one-third strength check, so we have a 30% chance to enter it every time we try. hear a wild boar out there. Let's see what this is. Disarming ring, we need that. Let's drop the cloth arm wrapping. We can't repair it anyway. Take the disarming ring. Can we use it? No, it's a mid-power ring. We have to get our magic item use skill up to um, advanced, but if we had this equipped every time we hit the enemy, their attack value would be permanently lowered by 10. Let's see if there's fruit here that helps us. Cabbage, that might help a bit. Drop the gold ring. Pick up the cabbage. We found a lot of cabbage. I think it's like the third one we found, I think. Yeah, we'll get back some health and some faith. We may have enough... We do have enough faith now, if we absolutely need to. If we find ourselves on the verge of death, we will um, cast Destiny and hope for the best. Here's that wild boar. It's also a spellcaster, damn it. It could kill us pretty easy. It's running from us at least. A lockpick, we need that as well. We don't have one, do we? No. How's our trap setting? We haven't put it up yet, have we? No, I'm not going to risk that ceiling block trap. Nor am I going to ambush God, but we just, you know, we, we may need that destiny thing. Let's drop the goat trap. We haven't found a use for it yet, anyway. Take the lock pick. Gingerbread, if we took that, we can eat it once. Remember when we had the negative effect, like, I don't know, nausea way back when, or other other status effects that are negative? Eat the gingerbread, and it, or the exhaustion, like the lowered strength, we were weakened. Eat this, it will instantly get rid of one randomly chosen bad effect from you. A temporary effect, won't take it away poisoning or anything. The lock pick lets us check twice for success when we're trying to pick locked doors and containers. Let's keep that on hand. I doubt there's a secret door there, guys. Let's take a look at our map. Here's where we were in the water. We got teleported over to here somewhere. Jesus. Alright, they're both running from us. That's a giant caterpillar. That is not just a boar. That's a wild boar, lunging wild boar. Which has, um, so we had this... I think a spellcaster went this way, a wild boar. I could be wrong. Maybe I misinterpreted the color. Uh, that's a lunging wild boar, so 33% distance strike it has. This is a giant boar. It just has a much higher health than normal boars. The caterpillar, which I obviously don't want to fight. Um, it's very resistant to acid, this but it, and that slow. Let's try and lure it towards us here. Shit, here comes that spellcaster. Shit. Alright, guys, we're in... Oh, thank for gods. Found a health potion. As long as this isn't, you know, secretly a poison potion or something, we're in great shape. Well, not great shape, but better shape. Alright, I healed 44. We're doing okay again, guys. We're back in this game. <laughs> Even if we kill all these guys, it's not going to quite put us up a level. This guy could kill us with a lightning bolt or a fireball or something. That's terrifying. Unfortunately, there's nothing down here. Unless there happens to be something in this square, there's nothing down here, which means you have to cross here again, or we have to get to that door. But we're in better shape to get to that door now. Let's try and... Um, let's try and get to here. Guys are tearing us down. How bad are we? Let's try and go north. Damn it, followed us. How much damage is he gonna do? He can only do seven damage if it starts. Alright, fuck it. Let's do the um let's do the destiny effect and put up a stand here. This is a 50-50, guys. We're either going to die right here in this combat, unless we happen to kill it. 
or it's gonna we're gonna, gonna resurrect. How are we doing for spell points? Well, we're down to four health, guys. Killed us. Let's see if we resurrect, guys. Ha <laughs> ha! Our destiny effect worked. We are resurrected with half of our health on the temple. Thank you, Illumis. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, son of a bitch. <sighs> We're almost certainly gonna fall through this if we try and cross here, right? And if we if we do cross here, what are we gonna swim again? We're gonna swim across all this shit with a giant spine tooth on the loose. I think we're in bad shape. That guy hasn't laid any more traps. We know that for a fact because he's stuck in the corner. We could go back in here and see what this stuff is, maybe. Or we could just descend. Let's go ahead and drink it. Like an idiot. Strength is raised again. We know there was nothing in a straight line down from this. Let's go up here. High power scroll. Let's drop the gold ring and try casting that. If it summons something powerful to fight for us, that'd be useful. No, it's a poison cloud. Uh, let's choose here. You can see it's saying which, which, which direction you want to do it. This direction, this direction, this direction. We can't do it that direction because there's a wall. And when we point at it, it highlights the squares that will be filled with poison cloud. So it's poisoned, and it looks like the, the cloud dissipated. So the cloud hit it and dissipated immediately, but it did poison it. Uh, could be good. Let's pick back up the gold ring. Let's wait for this cloud to dissipate a little bit, unless this guy's coming too close to us. Right, fuck it. Ah, son of a bitch. The, uh, the Morlock passed this way, obviously. Let's go ahead and do this again. Probably got rid of the traps down here. That's that's a booby trap. Let's pass our turn for a second to see if this one's a booby trap. Fuck you. That's beyond ale. Fine. Well, we're not gonna live to 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 use this anyway. But let's pick it up and learn it. Beyond ale. We can learn it because our intelligence is thirty. We just learned alchemy skill, guys. This skill now allows you to identify common potions. It can't tell you if a potion is defouled. Befouled. So, you know, if, if we manage to survive for a few more seconds, we will. Actually, we'll cast Descend. Let's pick up the gold ring. Let's cast, um... He's not poisoned anymore. Let's definitely cast Descend. Any potions we find that are, say, curative potions or... or restorative potions, it'll, we'll now know that's what it is. Although it still might be befouled. This would be a hell of a risk, guys. We could just plow into this. Um, it could kill us outright. If it's, if it's cursed, it could kill us. Well, maybe not quite. But it could also heal us, right? We could be fully healed. Let's take the risk. We need it. Nothing. No effect. Potion of ESP. Let's go ahead and drink that. That's another common potion, I guess. Or low-level potion. So it gives us the ESP effect as if we just cast a spell. That's the wrong symbol, isn't it? That's a protection from evil symbol. I thought I just fixed that problem. I think I just compounded that problem. Um, let me go fix that, guys. Give me one second. All right, guys, I'm back. I fixed that bug. Let's take a look at it, and I'll tell you what happened. So, yeah, I told you this morning I um, I noticed the protection from evil image wasn't appearing down at the bottom where it was supposed to. That's because I had forgotten to load the image. I had forgotten that little part of the code. So it was putting an image up. There's just no image to put up. I copied the ESP code uh, this morning that loads the ESP image and um, modified some stuff in it to load the protection from evil image, um, but I obviously forgot the last step, which is to make sure it loads that image into the protection from evil slot, not the ESP slot. So it's, there, it's fixed. <sighs> so we're back in this game, possibly dead any second. Um, we got tons of spell points, I guess, yeah. We, we don't really have a choice. Let's go ahead and... Um, Start water of lifing. We have to find our priority right now. I think is to find a, a, either a wandering smith, if we have the money to pay him, or a freaking forge. I don't hear one nearby. Whoops! I didn't mean to do that. Damn it! Press the wrong thing. All right, well, we cast that again. Let 
we have to get our armor fixed because you know, as um, as bad as it is to um, obviously as bad as it is to you know not be able to use heavy armor right now we can't use any armor because all of our armor is broken. We're essentially naked. I'll do one more of these. And then we'll trust that that's enough to keep us going. I think we also want to um start concentrating on getting our disarming skill up um, to disarm more traps, because if we step in the wrong booby trap or in this damage, we'll be in big trouble. That and spot secret. This is um, this is one of the tougher types of levels, too. This is a maze. A literal labyrinth is what we're in right now. I slot helm would be sweet, but we can't use it, of course. Medium helmet, we can't use it. 26 defense if we could. A Puthan shrine, we've seen that before. Pray to Aputhic, the goddess of quick escape. We don't need to do that. Even these types of uh, levels, guys, the um, labyrinths, they, they come in different types. Some of them are much easier to navigate than others. Some have rooms, some don't. I might be hearing a um, a gnomish boar, uh, which would be really freaking useful to us. Let's take a look at this. Tempted to take that, but maybe not yet. Uh, this is a magic item that um, is called Devil Salt. We can only use it twice. When we do, it creates a pentagram in our square. And if you remember the pentagrams, we can um, there do a ritual to try and get spell points back. It could be really useful. Meh. Let's take it. What will we drop, though? That's the problem, right? We're, we're not likely to get this. Um, this is physical resistance skill, um, if we learn this. So every level you get a physical resistance skill gives you 10% physical resistance, so 10% resistance to physical damage. So at this level, if we got it all the way up to here, we'd have a 30% resistance to all the damage that's physical, which is most of the damage in the game. But um, it's not likely we're going to get an opportunity to learn it, and I don't want to drop the trap, because we might actually use that. Let's take the Devil Soul for now. What was that? Oh, we had extra strength, so we um, when our strength wore off, we just dropped the extra gold we can't carry anymore. Let's look around, actually. We still have the ESP. I haven't really taken advantage of that fact. What's out here? It's a giant slug master psionic. A night hag. A diabolic has 28% magic resistance and a 50% chance we lose 1 to 10 dexterity every time it hits us. Yikers. Of course, our self-awareness will help with that a lot. A berserker has randomized attack and defense every turn. That's why we can't get a beat on how much it, uh, it's got its stats at, you know? Middling Demon. 20% chance it causes insanity when it hits us. Chimera gets two attacks every turn and is flying. And a giant snail. Pretty high defense. Slow. Insectoid. I think I'm going to go... Well, let's keep looking here. What is this? A Shoxian Shrine. This square provides you the option of invoking Shox Steel Fist, the Dwarven God of Strength, with a chance of success based on your relationship with Shox. Success would be like a Brawn Potion or a Strength Potion. It would increase our strength by 50 for 120 turns. Failure would permanently lower our strength by 1 to 3. We don't need our strength up right now. Necessarily. Not, not enough to risk lowering it permanently. Obviously, one of the risks of being on a map of this nature is you might get that level warning to get off and we haven't even found the stairs yet, you know? I want to move towards that sound that sounds like a gnomish boar. It might not be. No, it's not. It's a gnomish automated armor, and as a matter of fact, that helps us even more. I can't remember if we've seen one of these or not before, guys, but um, if we did, I apologize for re-explaining it. Um, this square gives us the option of activating the machine. If we do, each of our non-improvised weapons and armor has a 75% chance of being fully repaired but a 25% chance of being completely destroyed. Uh, you can't opt as you know what you want to put in it. So anything you don't want to go in there, you drop first. Let's keep the Axe of Mage hunting, right? Because it's down to 1%. Let's, and, and the Chain Whip. Let's drop the Glowing Crossbow Pistol so we don't risk damaging that. Let's see what this does for us. Our Chain Whip has been fully repaired. Our Axe of Mage hunting has been fully repaired. Oh, fuck me. Our Boiled Leather Armor has been ruined. Our Aspis has been fully repaired. Our little cap has been fully repaired. Obviously, that was not the primary hope, but at least we have this back. God, we need that armor. If 
got a torch. Let's go ahead and just light it for now. It's not going to help as much in the close confines here. There's so many twists and turns. You can't see far anyway, but why not while we have the space? I didn't notice what that said. I think we disarmed something or something. What did that say? I have no idea what that said. Just stained glass window. Um, we can meditate before it. Uh, we have a chance of success equal to our relationship with our deity, or the average of all deities if we're agnostic, um, of gaining something out of it. What we gain is 1 to 100 faith points. That would be modified by our relationship. So 100% su chance of success. Our goddess loves us now. And um, we'll get 1 to 100 faith points. Alright, 55, that helps. I was hoping for that Gnomish Boar, because I mean, just bur you know, burrow right through the walls. We could just ride that thing and drive it right through the walls, and we wouldn't have to worry about the, um... Let's drop the torch. We're going to take the Staff of Fiends. We wouldn't have to worry about the um, status of uh, all these walls. Staff of Fiends, if we successfully use it, will summon a mid-power diabolic monster. That means a, a, a monster that's diabolic that is between level 11 and level 20 in strength. Randomly chosen. Could be useful. Let's take the eyes. Ooh, see a trap there. Let's go ahead and deactivate. Didn't work. Let's do it again. Still didn't work. Let's cast fucking... Um, nullify traps. There we go. Large health potion. We can't pass that up, ma'am. How are we doing for... We still got a thousand to go. You know what? As much as I don't want to waste it like this, we don't have the inventory slots anyway. Let's just chug it right now. It only gives us back 48 to 60 health. We need more than 60 health, so it won't even f fully heal us. 48 health. Certainly helped. Tarnished Halo, we also need that, man. Jesus. Guys, what do we drop? This could be good to keep because it's so fucking powerful against you know, spellcasters and stuff, but it takes up two inventory slots. We can't even use it yet. Let's drop the Axe of Mage Hunting. Take the Tarnished Halo, which we also can't use yet, but it only takes up one inventory slot. Let's reorganize. Um, as long as the Tarnished Halo remains in your inventory and your magic enemy skill is at least advanced, we have to get that next. Uh, so we can use that and the Disarming Ring. The first time on any given map that you are killed specifically by an insta-kill effect, you will automatically survive. It will return to active status when you enter any new map, i.e. it only works once per map. But it will save us if we have the um, magic enemy skill in advance. It will save us from the first insta-kill effect on any given level every time. Steal from this guy. Fucking shame cha cage again. Um, I don't want to just descend. We can't just descend, guys. We, If we just keep descending, we're going to be in big trouble. I mean, we could, we could just descend every level to our Ziscasian and then try and fate him with our fate prayer, but um, it would be a 50-50 chance of losing the game. Or winning. Oh, we escaped on our first try. Okay. I hear a riddle. Let's see what's on these shelves. Prayer of Entangling Vines. Might as well try any. Oh, can we? Yeah, that's a Duralin prayer. She won't mind if we use that. Not a very good chance of success, though. Duralis does not like us. Goddess of Nature and Magic. We'll still try it. 31% chance it works when we need it. Carry it for now. No point picking that gold up. We're already carrying too much. You can smell the snail right through the wall. That's a stone golem. Darn it. No easy way to kill him. To get a crap ton of ambush gods to do it. Let's try and uh, pick the lock. Got it. Let's go right... Let's, let's lure him down here. Come on, buddy. Where'd he go? He's an automaton, don't forget. He's too stupid to maneuver properly. Alright. 
Apparently we're using our fists, by the way. Let's do a prayer of entangling vines. Oh, it worked. Okay. So he's immobile. We tangled him up in vines. He can't go anywhere for the rest of the game. So we don't have to worry about him, at least. Let's go ahead and equip that again. That's that middling demon we can hear. Another one of these um, potential coat of arms. We don't recognize that one, though. Another torch. Might as well light it for now. We're just going to end up dropping it in a few seconds anyway. That is a Chenethian shrine? Yeah. Cheneth is a minor god, one of the goblin gods, uh, also known as the Venomed One. If we uh, succeed in praying here, we'll become venomous for 60 turns. If we fail, we'll become poisoned ourselves. Only a 20% chance of success there. She does not like us at all. Is there any way up out here? Are we, uh, is this a dead end area? This is a total dead end. So we have to go... all the way back to here. To get out of here. It's like Chimera. Oh, it's running from us. Do we care? Do we want to fight it? Our odds of hitting it are much better than its odds of hitting us. Let's go ahead and fight it. I get some spell points back with this as well. Extra 50 experience because it was a worm from our advanced dragon slaying. Let's try and leap across this pit. What are our odds? Up to two chances of 45%. And our odds of picking this are three consecutive chances of 15%. If any of them work, we pick it. There we go. That's the Night Hag we can hear, and that's Berserker we can see. I do not want to fight her, man. Let's back off from her. Let's try and use the Staff of Fiends. It worked! We summoned an Air Elemental. Yeah, I killed her. Nice. Maybe that air elemental will find the uh, berserker and kill it too. Spellbook meteor strike. Let's go ahead and uh, grab that. When you drop the torch, it goes out automatically, guys. So we'll just burn on the ground. Meteor strike is a ha. Ah, we can't use it. It's not learning at all. We can learn it, but we'll never be able to cast it, of course, because it's a high power spell. We can't learn expert spell use. If we could, it'd be 65 spell points, does 40 to 70 physical damage to the monster you're fighting. Can't learn it. They got that guy, too. Here's the stairs if you want it. And we're fully healed. Swamp Life 2, this perk increases our odds of shedding any disease upon entering a new map by 10%. Stay competitive in combat, guys. What did I want to do? That's right. Uh, let's go with disarming, I think. Make sure we don't get killed by a booby trap. Our, our air elemental is fighting something else, although this trainer was killed by the uh, berserker, probably. It killed the uh, middling demon as well. Fuck, that thing's doing a great job. Let's go ahead and open this. Boots of Jumping and a Horn of Deafening. Boots of Jumping could be useful. Um, we can only use it once per map. It'll make us flying for two turns. So it lets you jump over like a single square of obstacle without going through it. Not terrible. Horn of Deafening, likewise, we can only use it once per level. It's a mid power, so we'd have to get our skill up. Um, it'll, it'll, it'll shut off the sound effects. We can't hear the monsters at a, at a distance. We, we get deafened as well. Um, and it means that monsters can no longer rely on hearing while it lasts um, for 120 turns. So they can only attack you if they see you, and since animals, for instance, animal intelligence monsters rely on hearing to uh, find you, they'll ignore you completely. Could be useful. Yeah, let's take that. There was also a uh, 
Taskmaster in here that got killed by the monster. Probably the, uh, probably by the, um, middling demon. Can we go back and get some gold? Is that possible? Something the way we gotta get past this. That's the snail. off. Probably. Hmm. Let's try and get that gold, actually. Um, and if the, you know, if, if, a, if a bad effect comes into play, we'll just descend. Alright, it did. Acid rain. Magical clouds have formed overhead, and they suddenly let loose with a misting of green-tinged acidic rainfall. It's not enough to harm you in low concentrations, but as the stuff begins to pool, you realize it does pose a long-term threat. Watch out for the acid pools that are forming. So every turn, there's a 1 in 30 chance that, a, that an empty space becomes an acid pool instead. Let's, uh, let's just get out of here. Also, steam burst eruptions. The ground trembles, and you hear a muffled explosion, the high-pitched whistle of gas escaping under extreme pressure. This entire area is transforming into one big geyser. Might be best to get out of here before you and the level both blow your tops. Steam vents will continue to appear as long as you remain on this map. Um, so same thing, uh, 1 in 30 chance of return that a random empty space becomes a steam vent, which will blast steam up to three squares away. They can burn us. Let's get to here. Let's go ahead and cast um, ESP. And finger candles. No, not finger candles. Let's cast um, mage shield. And then let's go down. Try and go a little bit further, guys, and then we'll call it a couple of giant snails that we don't want to fight because of a Loomis. What else we got here? Let's just page around. A bunch of giant snails. Also a giant spider. Damn it. Nothing but giant snails and giant spiders on some demons. Most of these monsters we don't want to fight, guys. It'll just make our goddess mad, and we've seen how well we can rely on her when, when she likes us, so let's not piss her off. Might want to try and take out these guys. What's in the mysterious cupboard? A desperation spellbook. A low-power scroll. Uh, let's go ahead and learn desperation. Desperation, by the way, is exactly the same as our Fate Miracle. Um, but we use spell points to cast this, not, uh, not, um, not Faith points. We use spell points. Um, so 50-50, we, we either die or, or kill something. Of course, if we get our Death Cheating skill up, we can cast that with a little more impunity, right? Because then if it elects to kill us, we'd have a 75% chance to survive. I'm not going to pull that lever until I know what it... Yeah, I will. I already know there's no monsters on this map, probably, that we can have to worry about too much. Let's go ahead and use the high power scroll. Of course, it might summon something who goes and kills all these insects, but still. Raging waters... Do we want to do it? Yes. Might end up killing it, mind you, and we'll get our god pissed off, or whatever. Alright. Ring of Rage. Uh, Mid-power ring, if we wear this, we have plus 10 to hit, and we do plus 2 damage. We have better than 75% chance to avoid uh, stat drain, guys. I forgot we had the Ring of Optimism as well. I don't know if we'll ever wear the Ring of Rage. I kind of like that other ring we have. Not going to go in here. There's too much poison gas. That means, unfortunately, we got to get across this. Spangent Helm of Healing. It'd be a great um, magical helmet that would partially heal us every time we probably get missed, I think is what it is in combat. But, um, again, it's just beyond our means to use because we're a rogue. Son of a frick. <sighs> Tell you 
teleported us. I am going to check that code after this. There's an elevator. When it comes time to get out of here, there's stairs there, and there's an elevator there. Did, did we pull that lever? I thought I said we wouldn't, but we must have, and it, what it did was it raised this trap door that was blocking the stairs, so now we can get out if we want to. Well, we'll probably take the elevator anyway when it comes time. jammed it. Do we have a reset? We do have reset tumblers. Let's go ahead and use that. Mm -hmm. Allows us to um, reset every jammed lock within one square. So it's not, lo not jammed anymore. Let's go ahead and cast open locks just to see what's down there. Where the hell are you? This is a um, stone door, is it right? Yeah, the heaviest kind of door. It's the hardest for us to open. God damn it, really? We kind of know it's down here. There's no, I'm not going to cast any more spells. If we can unlock this, great. If we jam it, fuck it. I know we don't want to kill the um, spider, but nonetheless, we're using our staff of fiends in the hopes that it uh, summons something that kills him. It's an earth element, like it can walk through walls. It got poisoned by the spider. Our earth elemental died, guys. This time we got a Lamia. Not gonna do it. It's not gonna cut it. It's only level 12 versus level 19. Let's try and summon another thing. Oh, that's it. We're not getting anything else. Fuck. And we're stuck in this damn web. I don't wanna go insane. <laughs> Let's uh, cast Sonic Boom at it. Did 14 damage to it, and it's weakened and dizzy for one turn. So you can see its uh, attack and its damage are both lowered. Let's just finish it off with a bow. Got that one. Got a lot of spell points back because of our advanced demonology. Sonic Boom. I should have Mage Shield at first, wouldn't have been a smart thing to do. Oh, it resisted. I forgot they had that. They have a 29% magic resistance. Let's cast a Mage Shield. Lower its chance to hit us down to 22%. Fuck, we're insane. We'll talk about that in a second, guys. Let's keep fighting it first. Our tail whips. It was fleeing from us, damn it. It was fast, I think. Is it? Oh, it doesn't matter. It came at us. Alright, insanity, unfortunately, we have. Um, let's go look at that. Uh, while this is, uh, while we're insane, uh, I think it's like a one in six chance every turn that we move in a random direction. So we want to get away from this poison, because we might end up just jumping into it. Every time you hear that little laughter, that's us moving in a random direction. Uncooked mutton. If we could cook that, we'd get a strength out of it. We don't have any un, uh, unknown potions, do we? Nope. Or I guess we, now we'll recognize them as restorative potions, actually, with our uh, alchemy skill. As soon as we get off this level, we'll call the, uh, the game there for now. Whiskey... We're going to come back here, so it'd be good to do this right now. Maybe. Maybe not. Let's try and kill him. Even though it'll make her mad, let's just try and kill him. 
another uh, Sonic Boom. Killer Wall's disoriented. That's a trap. We spotted that. Try and get to um, the temple. Is there something in the way? Oh, this web. We gotta kill this stupid giant spider too, unfortunately. Or it's just gonna keep laying web. Poison us. We'll cure ourselves as soon as it's dead. No point in doing it now, it might just poison us again. Damn it, we're stuck in this stupid thing now. Let's get rid of it or us. Please teleport the snail so I don't have to look this up. Nope. I have to look that up. <sighs> We're nowhere near leveling up, guys. We're in bad shape. I'll turn off that pulse for now by pressing B. Still hear the heartbeat. <laughs> Fuck. How are we doing for uh, spell points? Let's go ahead and cast Demonic Assistance as well. That'll be it for now because we gotta save some for a curative, uh, a cure poison spell if this guy gets us again. Both the snails are in here, damn it. Stuck on this damn thing. Yeah, it teleported us every time. There's gotta be a, there's gotta be a glitch there. Let's go through... Fuck, we can't go through the water. God damn, guys. Let's get this money. Do we need this money? Fuck, there's a snail here. damn thing. <sighs> we need our spell points to cast Cure Poison. Can we afford... No, we cannot. I was just saying, can we afford a um, Sonic Boom, but we can't. We're on the verge of death now. What do we do, guys? We descend. That's what we do. And then we cast Cure Poison with all our spell points back. I don't think we're going to live much longer, guys. We're down to 11 health. Water of life. I said we'd call it here, actually, guys. So let's go ahead and call it right here. Uh, we, the next episode may be very, very short, of course. But um, for now, here's where we're at. We're um, on the verge of death again, as we have been for a while. Um, without our breastplate, we're really in bad shape, guys. We might get lucky and find another like, breastplate or even an improvised one. Anything would be better than nothing. Let's hope. We'll be back soon. I'm going to look up that... Um, in between, I'm going to look up the um, code for the unpredictable outcome miracle. And I'll repair it if, uh, if it needs repairing. Alright, talk to you soon. Bye.